are we? Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd... Tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. Hope Mom wasn't joking about seeing Star-Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. Traveling through space must be amazing. Are you ready to go, go, go? We'll make this will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Jamie's high score. This is embarrassing. Are you ready to go, go, go? Three natural ones in a row last game? Some barn I turned out to be. Pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. <laughs> Need to build up my calluses. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. I'd love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Ooh. I can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome.
Little Quill, Quill, Quill. Little Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin her mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right to be- Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. <laughs> Arrested? For what? <laughs> our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? <sighs> Details! Nice gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a-running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey! All my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. <laughs> Drax! <laughs> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Groot really needs to get these plants under control.
What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye on thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. So this job don't turn out like our monster hunting gig in the Hilda Cluster. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Hey, uh, Groot, did that escort job on Orga ever pan out? <laughs> what do you mean you never called her back? Don't know if you noticed, but we're flarkin' broke. <laughs> what? Wait. What kind of escort was that contract about? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd rather be broke. Rocket! Did you bring back the docking chips you took from the alignment console? Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Mmm. This moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknarf 7. Oh, not again. It is said that Lady Hellbender held her breath through ten moons while riding across the stars on the back of a great horned beast. And when she when arrived... When she arrived, she exhaled, and the wind blew away the Shatari. Indeed, it did. I am if he realized it didn't make no sense, he wouldn't be telling it. So, Drax, excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior and a noble queen. And she's rich. That is not a prowess, simply a commercial fact. As long as she buys her monster, she doesn't need to be royalty. You are jealous of her status. No thanks! Being a queen means being born with a- Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we breach that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Bowser! Morgoth, be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. Morgoth is a politeness thing? Katafian custom. Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. 
It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. There. So much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Brute, Quell, Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clips to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land the ships. You'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? What? The pink coop? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Uh, okay. Guess you're taking the long way now. Just want to make sure we do. Oh. Huh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This uh, pink resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh. Probably strong enough. He is not a better shot than you. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? Visor works. Sure it works. I checked it right before we left. Did you just put checked it in quotes? What? No. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, Quill! These coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? Show off. Just making sure my guns work. Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore freak. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Still joy. Why'd he even bring us here if the place is so sacred? 
I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Flat broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisition. Exactly. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Yes, it is kind of poetic. <laughs> ah, cheer up. Just because the war was horrible doesn't mean there wasn't good times along the way. <laughs> yeah, I am mostly tough. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay. Ha! You almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. <laughs> The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <sighs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Flark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. <laughs> Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Ah, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we can find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Ugh, oh, you happy, Quill? That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> of course he could know. I told him. Neglected to get that info while he was flirting on contracts. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep. Classic me. Whoa! I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No. Aw. You were worried. That's cute. Uh, shut up, both of you. I am Groot. Don't worry, it's safe to walk on, mostly. That's why Green Team's on the Milano. Heck of a lot more dangerous to fly around in here. I heard that. Take that, brittle stuff. Ugh, I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkers would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. Ha ha ha! Nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin' thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm Groot. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's... Ah! Ah! Oh! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I'm Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. I shot a thing. I get it. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, hey, little guy. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Are you dead, Quill? We can hear your wussy squeal even without the cops. Little busy! One last freaky eye thing! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. Not falling for this again. Stay back! Don't die! You're more than half my head! Hey! This world dies! Do we all get a bigger cut? I heard that! Everything okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny! That is exactly the kind of scrap we're looking for. Way to go, buddy. Don't be so modest. That was a great fight. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like, you could even tell if she had an honest face. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool oh, vinyl thing. Oh. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross! More ship eaters. Oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Do I look worried? The resin will hold. I'm Groot. We gotta go that way, across the gap. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? I'm Groot. Hey, Greenies, you see any blue and gold ships out there? You will let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until we're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, fork that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. All this firepower. Now it's all just scrap. I am Groot. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Sorry about what? Groot's... All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! For attacking batteries, Fry, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. 
Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this pass, it's gonna go... Fucking monster thing! Everyone get ready! Just keep these things away from me! Ha-ha! <laughs> Run in this fight and fight a shitty bird! Don't feel bad, buddy! They started it! Look out! Bye-bye, little guy! Just keep swaying those branches! Come on, you hunk of junk! Do I need to worry about these things? Thanks for the heads up, bud! Tie him down! Keep him away from that missile, Groot! Is the rotor securing further armaments? We're just killing party favors! Easy for you to say! You've got a pointy stick! Done! Sorry to burst your bubble! We're just killing party favors! Just keep these things away from me! Ha <laughs> ha! The runners are frightened by the guinea bugs! Done. We're all plugged in. Wow. Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on. Two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. I'm Groot. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys, we deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a pre-century. A robot, but it would have been space-worthy. <laughs> That ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Afro. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. See the parts come and go to my... Uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Ah. Most of them are just scars now, anyways. This old Kree tech gets me wondering, where would I be now if those blue butt scuts managed to keep me locked into their half-world experiments? <laughs> yeah, chances are you'd be climbing over bits of me right now. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility is a load of this, Rocket! I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Don't worry, I ain't even gotten serious yet. Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? <laughs> How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see.
Group, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this back, well! So, Drax, how come you're so in love with this Hellbender League? I can hear your visor work. Better not be cheating on our bat quill. How can you hear that? <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. Found a nest. Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse. <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? <laughs> I mean, with the units he'll owe me once I win. Rocket scores! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. And Rocket scores again! After I beat Quill? Or after I beat you? When I get the upper hand and win by a landslide, I'm getting my hands on some rotating hypercircles. Boo! No one knows what those are! No, we can't take the giant robot home. And believe me. What do you think, Drax? Should we get in on this bet? Think of all the hyper circuits you can buy. Are you making fun of me? I do not wish to acquire hyper circuits. I'm having the time of my life. Quill, shoot down a nest if you're having fun. Speaks for itself. How's that bet going over there? I look forward to one of you winning, then perhaps this senseless chatter will cease. Turn off your radio if you're not happy. I take no orders from you. <laughs> 